Hi, sewing friends. Welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth, and if you're new, welcome. Today's block is a very scrappy block using half square triangles and then some leftover strips, or they're sometimes called strings in the quilting world. I'm going to sew those together to make the center and some half square triangles. To make the half square triangles, I'm using some squares. I need 10 half square triangles, so I have five four inch squares of the print and five of the background. And then I need two three and a half inch squares or two of the corners of this quilt block. So the first thing I did was I pulled out my scraps and I started sewing all of those strings together using a quarter inch seam. Uh, they're not all perfectly straight on the edge. I just had to make sure that, of course, the raw edges were inside of the seam and my squares, my, the center square for this quilt block is six and a half inches. So I just had to make sure that my strips or strings here were at least six and a half inches long. And this one that I'm putting together right now is one of my favorites. I think it's a, an old piece of fabric, a vintage piece of fabric, and it has all those beautiful colors that I'm trying to incorporate in this quilt. So I'll keep putting these strips together until my little piece of fabric that I'm sewing together gets to be at least six and a half inches wide. So I pressed my fabric after getting all of those strips together. I measured and found that it wasn't quite six and a half inches. So I added one more strip on the side, a larger one. So I'll have to cut that down. And here's this nice stripe. It was actually a sheet in its prior life. I used it for a backing for a quilt a while back and it was in my basket of strings or strips and I'm going to add it to the side right here so that my little piece of fabric will grow to a little bit bigger than six and a half inches. After everything was pressed I took a square ruler and I cut a square six and a half by six and a half. time to make those half square triangles and these squares are about four and a quarter inches. I could have used four inches and I would have cut it pretty close because I'm going to be trimming these down to three and a half inches but a lot of these squares were already cut. I have little drawers full of different size squares and one of the drawers is my four inch drawer and not everything in there is perfectly four inches. Some of these were a little bit bigger. So I am going to put one of those prints with the background fabric and then I'll be sewing on both sides of the pencil line. And after I put my seam in, I will, my two seams in, I'll cut along the pencil line. I'll press 
the half square triangles open and then I'll trim them all to three and a half inches. Now I have all of the elements I need for my quilt block. I have the six and a half inch square made with strips and now I'll place all those half square triangles around the center square. I've got two on opposite corners pointing at each other and then the other half square triangles will kind of follow suit and go in the same direction. They're all sort of, each group is pointing at the other group and then I have two little corners to cover with my three and a half inch square. After getting that top row piece together, I went to each side of the square here and I put those two half square triangles together. And then after I get the two together, I'll join them to the center square. And then I'll do the bottom row and then put it all together. And before you know it, I'll have this quilt block complete.
I have enough blue scraps with some greens and browns that to make a beautiful quilt. I'm going to keep sewing these together and before you know it, I will have a quilt to give away. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.